right, welcome back to a beautiful morning on the Eco Gang Z server. And today I am going to show you the three best bridges I have ever seen in Eco. And of course, I'm biased because I built them. And let's just start with the most unusual conceptual kind of one. This is, uh, it replaced a just plain old wooden pedestrian bridge. But as you can see, it's just sheets of glass and asphalt ramps. So basically, if you want to make a really easy bridge in this game, you just shove two ramps together and boom, two material bridge, easy peasy. And then I decorated with some glass panes underneath, just normal plain old glass you make at the kiln. And you might be thinking this hole is crazy talk. Why is there a hole? You could fall right through. Well, you can't. And even though it is a pedestrian bridge, you can take a cart across the hole like nothing's happening. So let me demonstrate. Boom. Easy, easy, easy. So this is, a, is not only a, a very visually interesting bridge, but it's also a perfectly functional bridge. Bridge number two. This is, again, right outside Vortex House. Our first bridge was down there. Um, this one is a another contemporary kind of style design. This is a... A main road, so to speak, not a little pedestrian trail. So I decided to give it some concrete columns. Um, underneath, you can see the asphalt, and these edges are asphalt blocks, and these are just concrete railings. And I'd say I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's literally a bridge between the more developed area of town and the more rustic area of town. Uh, so I think I'm pretty happy with it. And I like how the path just kind of continues onto the bridge out of the main material. And I like how the supports go down into the water. And, and it is a little cheaty because, as you can see, they actually don't go all the way down. Not even close. But maybe someday. But at least they look the part for now. So this is a really easy one to build. All you do is just build an asphalt bridge over and then just decorate with concrete and a couple little blocks at the end. And down the highway here we have the third and final bridge that is technically not yet completed. I am still working on it, but as you can see, we have left the bare wood as columns and the main floor. That's always been down there. And uh, it's more like a tunnel, isn't it? It's got the peat roof. These are just pieces of peat roof on top that are green. And these bars that kind of cage it in and make it like tunnel feeling, those are just concrete windows. So if you, if you stack up the windows enough, it'll make that cool little cage thing. And then uh, you can fight with roofing <laughs> and get it all up. And uh, eventually maybe this will look nice. It's not finished yet. I'm still working on it, as you can see. But uh, I think I'm going to be the most proud of this one. I really like it. It's, uh, it's really different. Let me show you primarily from this side because it looks a little more done. It deceives the eye a little bit. So it's cool, right? I mean, here's, here's a nice angle of it. It's still rustic, but it has those modern elements and it has enough detail so that it's not just a, you know, like, oh, it's a bridge. It gets you across the river. Like, it's actually pretty. I'm so happy with how this one turned out. So, short video I know, but I just wanted to show off all the bridges and road work I've been doing. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know which one was your favorite. If you loved them all, leave a like. I'll see you next time. 